Yo, what's good, y'all? So, Trill, and when you I2.1 actually just dropped for the Galaxy Tab Bay 8.4 2020, and as y'all know, I really like this tablet a lot. Well, some of y'all know anyways. But I want to go and give y'all my quick overview of the One UI 2.1 update on here, meaning the speed and the performance and, like, all the new features and all that stuff. So, ah, so, let's get into it. All right, so this is actually my third Galaxy Tab to receive this One UI 2.1 update. And I'm telling y'all, like, it's been a big difference on all my Galaxy Tabs. So I'll tell you the differences on here, too. So as you'll see here, we got One UI 2.1 on here. We got Android 10. And if I go and show you the security patch, we're actually on October right now, which is right now. It's actually October. So that's pretty cool. So on top of One UI 2.1, we actually just got a security update. So yeah, like, we're all the way updated. We're pretty good on here. That's pretty nice. And this is the T-Mobile Galaxy Tab Bay 8.4-2020, which is why you don't don't see a Verizon logo here in the back. I'm not really sure if the Verizon one got it yet, but I'll go ahead and check. All right, y'all, so I got the Verizon model right here, and it does look like we do got an update, but I don't think it's the One UI 2.1 update. And I guess while I have this here, I can go and show y'all some of the differences between the One UI 2.1 and the One UI regular update. All right, so let's just go and get into this. And first off, I do want to go and tell y'all some of the things that we didn't get, like new wallpapers and new ringtones, new notification sounds. Like, we didn't get any of that. But one thing that we did get is new animations. So here's the animations on One UI 1. So as you'll see here, this not really any animations. It's kind of there, but it pretty much just fades into an app or whatever. As for One UI 2.1, you'll see that there's a little bit of a difference there. So you can see the animation a little bit better, but it's still really nothing that crazy. And then if I go and swipe up from here, as you'll see, yeah, you can definitely see that animation there. So there are new animations, but it's not really that big of a difference. And we also have new animations here in the recent app screen. So as you'll see here, we have completely new UI here. I'm loving this so far. This is what it looks like here with the regular One UI update. Like it just does that and that's pretty much it. Next up is that we have the new full screen gestures on here. So if I go to the recent apps, as you'll see here, that's new. And if I go home, that's new, which I, I think there's a little bit of lag there, but there we go. And if I go back, as you'll see, it works just fine like that. So yeah, we do have the new gestures on here. That's not really my preference. I like it better this way, but for those y'all that want it it's on here now next up is that we have better dark mode support for more apps so as you'll see here we do have a new ui here for switching between them in general but yeah we have more dark mode support in all apps so for example if i go here to dark mode and turn that on we have dark mode here in the google app which we didn't have before so there we go we have dark mode support that looks nice Next up is that we now have access to the new daily board update that's only available in Android 10 and up. So starting this up real quick, you'll actually see here that we have a whole new UI here that we can go ahead and choose from. So we have this regular clock here as usual, but if I go and swipe over here a couple of times, you can see here that we now have this new smart things layout. So I can go ahead and quickly change some of the actions here so I can go and turn on my robot vacuum or whatever. But what I was really getting at is if we go over here to the settings and go over here to where is it? Time, weather, and calendar. You can see here that we have a new clock. So if I go over here, as you can see that we now have this new modern, way more modern looking UI. So it does change here throughout the time as you see here, it moves around so it doesn't get burning, even though that doesn't really matter because this is an LCD screen. And then it just goes ahead and shuffles through this weather, the time, and then as you'll see here, it goes over here to the date. And then also, I don't know if this is new or not, but we do have a new dark mode here, so cool. Next up is that the notification center now appears in other parts of the screen. So I think it shows up in five different areas, but as you'll see here, it shows up on different parts of the screen if I have it rotated landscape. Next up is that Samsung actually changed out the Smart Things panel up here for the media and devices tab. So as y'all know, I already put my opinions out on this. I really don't like this. I like this way better because it's just way easier to go ahead and click on and get to things. But as you can see here, they changed everything. And if we go over here to the devices, then I get to my smart home devices. But again, it's just way more convenient having it this way. And lastly, this update just makes the Galaxy Tab feel way more smooth and way more snappy. So it's not as dramatic as when the Tab S5 V got one UI 2.1, but on here, you could definitely tell there's a lot of lag. There's still lag on here, but it's way smoother. So I would say if your main problem with this Galaxy Tab was like the lag and everything like that, as like I think a lot of people had that problem, I think you should go ahead and upgrade because it's going to make your experience way better. And I'm not just talking about the new animations and everything. It's just the whole system feels a lot more snappy. And y'all, that's pretty much going to do it for me with this One UI 2.1 update on the Galaxy Tab A 8.4-2020. Now, before we get out of here, I do want to go and point out a couple of things that we didn't get. I did briefly touch on that earlier in this video, but I want to get to that again. One of the things we didn't get is the double tap to wake feature. So I think that's a hardware feature, but we still don't have that. And that's really annoying. I really wish we had that on the Galaxy Tab A. Next is that Bixby is still nowhere to be seen on here. And lastly is that we don't have any type of multi-window tray still. So I think a lot of people got the wrong message in my last update videos that 
I didn't think that we could do multi-window at all, which we can by the way. You just tap on this icon here in the recent apps. Tap on split screen view and then you have multi-window. But my thing was that we don't have any multi-window tray here as I'll show y'all with my Tab S6. But this is multi-window tray and they just updated on One UI 2.5, which we will get soon, I'm assuming. But here we go. So if we go over here to Nest and then we go ahead and drag over, I don't know, Samsung Internet. That's how the multi-window tray, that's what I was talking about. I wasn't saying that we can't get multi-window at all because obviously we can. But that's pretty much going to do it for me, y'all. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this. But thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe. But go and follow me on my social media, Eddie Santec on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. But Instagram and Twitter is the most active. And I apologize for being so behind on videos, but I'm trying to get back on top of it. i just been really busy with like Renovate and things like that. Like, I don't know. Life's been crazy so far. We're in 2020. So like, what do you expect? So I'm going to get out of here, y'all. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And uh, peace out.